In visual range now, sir. Preparing final approach. Control, this is Sky Ranger 1, requesting permission to land. Copy, Sky Ranger. Permission granted. You are cleared for pad number 3. Gonna take more than a hole in the ground to beat those things. Just admit it, you're impressed. So, what is the Bureau anyway? Bureau of Operations and Command. Never heard of it. You were never meant to. This base wasn't meant to be operational for another year. We've called in every operative we had earmarked for the project, but, well, let's just say that we'll be a bit understaffed. Director Falk, sir. Welcome back. These two are with me. At least this location is secure. And I intend for it to stay that way. I'll be giving a report to all staff at 0300. Report to the operations room at that time. I have a lot to prepare, Carter. Agent Weaver will show you around. Down here, Carter. Come on. When Ivan put Sputnik up, the brass got scared. This project became top priority. Off the books, of course. That did it. Hold it there. Now don't move it. All right, people. Show's over. Back to work. Carter, this is Nico De Silva, senior field agent. Nico, you'll be sharing your workspace with Agent Carter. Welcome to the most advanced facility on Earth. Falk wants him up and running ASAP. Time is of the essence. Straight from his mouth. Gotcha. Well, come on. Our office is right over here. That weaver is one tough broad. So, this is us. This is my desk here. Yours is over there. Get comfortable, Will. Things as they are. This is both your office and your quarters. Uh, do you mind if I call you Will? Yes, I do mind. Well, I'm not calling you Agent Carter. I might be military, but I'm not that formal. I prefer William. Yeah, well, I prefer Nico, even if my mother insists on calling me Nicholas. There are some things that are just beyond our control. I can see we'll be fast friends, you and I. Glad to hear it. My supply of friends got cut a bit short lately. That all, De Silva? Ah, for now, sure. If you have any questions, just ask. And one more thing. Yeah? The old man, Director Falk. He's a hard man to impress, but you managed it. Not what I expected after reading your file. <laughs> Only pleasant surprise I've had all day. How many people around here know my history? We all know each other. Don't worry, you'll get to read up on us too. The old man thinks that the more attached we are to one another, the better we'll be in the field. The Bureau might be an adjustment for you. We work in teams here. Seems like you're more accustomed to operating alone. Yeah, well, I'm also accustomed to the enemy being human. An attack like this, it's gonna mean a lot of adjustment for everybody. I'm a different man today than I was yesterday, you know. Ain't that the truth. Where were you this morning? Did you get caught and... In any of this? No. I was out gathering intel on a weather anomaly way out in the boondocks. Something was interfering with television and radio signals. Everything except the heavy-duty military gear. Since the attack, it's gone global. They shut down our communication just before the attack. Keep us from coordinating. Smart. Sure, but there's one way it helped us. Can you imagine the panic if the public found out about an alien attack? You seem like you know your way around this place. I don't typically work out of this facility. Hell, no one really did until today. I'm with the NSA, but my post for the past few months has been with a small team that reports to Director Falk. Anomalies? What type? Different types, but all, well, supernatural. Sounded silly to say it until a few hours ago. Mostly weather oddities, but also we've been recovering deposits of this Illyrium stuff. Who else is on this team? It was supposed to be kept small until it was needed. Now, people who were pre-flagged for recruitment are coming in. Well, the ones that are still alive. People were pre-selected? From where? From the military, the clandestine service, DIA, even some civvies. No one knew that they were selected until they got the call. As of this morning, 
Valk activated the project and sent that call out. And before today? For the last few years, it's just been a couple dozen specialists. But now, we got a lot of new squaddies to bring up to speed. I need to get myself oriented. Let's talk later. Sure thing, Will. Good to have you on board. Sounds like the director's about to start. Come on, let's get the good seat. Lights. We are at war, and not the one we were expecting. Groom range, 2100 hours. Survivors, six. In just a few minutes, our enemy managed to destroy the primary strategic command center. By 2130, strategic command itself cease to exist. Our combined military forces have been routed. The comms have gone dark. The red phone will not be ringing. And that is why, as of now, I, Myron Falk, am assuming command of what's left of our nation's defenses. The Bureau was founded to coordinate resistance forces in the event of a complete and successful Soviet invasion. That mission remains the same, even if our enemy does not. We now face an opponent from beyond our world, whose identity is yet unknown. But make no mistake, this enemy has crippled us. They have technology decades beyond what we possess. We must make it our own. Their weapons will become our weapons. And when they do, we shall annihilate them. I give you new orders. Survive. Adapt. Win. Welcome to XCOM. A year? Will! You can't heal us for a year! I'm sorry, Jesus. Country needs me. Your family needs you. No! No, I can help them. Let me help them! Will. 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 Carter. Hey, Will, wake up. What? Jesus, Carter. How is it you look worse than before you went to sleep? I'm fine. It was just a dream. Yeah? Oh, must have been a doozy. Jesus. That was... That was awful. I thought I was done with all that shit. All what? Nothing. Never mind. Did you, uh... Did you have a reason for waking me up? Yeah, actually. Falk's looking for you. Wants you in his office, ASAP. The old man say what he wanted with me? Ha! <laughs> Guess you don't know him all that well yet. The director doesn't tell anyone anything he doesn't think they need to know. Are you saying something about that radio? Oh yeah. Cheap thing normally just pipes in the company elevator music. But it's been picking up some weird signal. Damned if I know what it is. Don't we have more important issues to deal with? Uh, sure. That's why I haven't bothered with it. But if someone on the outside is able to broadcast through that jamming signal, well, it could be important. Who would know more about this? Check with Operator Chelsky. She's information officer for the Bureau. Keeps track of communications, arranges contacts, manages what the public hears. The whole deal. Well, I guess you can't really hold knocking off for a few against me. Seeing as how we seem to be in our office and our quarters. Yeah, I guess some parts of the emergency plan leave something to be desired. Ah well, it'll be just like college, right? Yeah. Except I stayed in Mrs. Hawthorne's boarding house back in Terre Haute. 
Had my own bathroom and everything. Well, ain't you fancy. I'd better go see what the old man wants. See you later, Will. Two. Message repeats. Two. Five. Zero. Better make a note November. of this and talk to one of the radio operators. Nine, you probably ought to run that by Operator Chelsky across the repeats. hall. Might be important. Two, five, zero. November, eight, nine, two. You the dispatcher? A little more than that, Agent Carter. I'm Chief Information Officer with the Bureau. Information officer? What does that mean? I oversee the dispatchers, but in addition to that, I also manage our public communications and keep our profile low. And for now, my job is also keeping the public from knowing the scope of the threat. Because rioting mobs of civilians are the last thing we need right now. Exactly. You and your agents contain the enemy's attacks, and my operators will keep the public panic level in check. And if we can't keep the enemy contained? In that case, civilian unrest is the least of our problems, isn't it? What does the population know? They're worried about the communications blackout, but our operatives in the major cities are keeping them in line. Keeping them in line? You make it sound like they've declared martial law. Nothing as heavy-handed as that. Just a series of emergency preparedness tests. They'll be tense, but orderly. Isn't the enemy jamming all communications? Yes. Most broadcasting equipment is facing heavy interference, cutting effective range down to less than 5% of normal. Then how are you... Our equipment is significantly more robust. We're still communicating at approximately 90% of effective range. The best of the best, you know. Radio's been playing a strange broadcast. Any idea what it means? I heard. It's probably an automated weather station nearby, but I suppose it might be instructions for picking up a weaker signal. A clever broadcaster could bypass the worst of the jamming that way. It could be survivors. We could bring them in. It's worth checking out. I'll have Operator Hughes run the radio while you give us the data. First set the range to... Set the range to 500. Now the direction? Set the direction north. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 892 megahertz. Checking ultra-high frequency. Try again. I know there's a message out there. If you say so. First set the range to... Set the range to 250. Now the direction? Set the direction south. And the frequency? Set the frequency to 374 megahertz. Checking medium frequency. And I've taken enough of your time. Yes, sir. there. You saw what he was capable of. I did. It's just... His file paints a different picture. Speak of the devil. Carter. Good. Agent Weaver is afraid you don't play well with others. I tend to see that as an asset. What do you want from me, sir? You're not here in this facility by chance. I brought you here quite purposefully. I've been following your career for some time. Why me? I've been behind a desk since... Well, for a while. Yeah, but you were a hell of an agent before you sat behind that desk. And what's more, I know what put you behind that desk. Well, the brass put me there. Sure, the brass made the call. But it was you who kept yourself there. I don't need another round of psychobabble. I had enough of that from the company shrinks after the incident. It was an accident, Carter. Beyond your control. Right, right, yeah. And next you tell me how I can't save everyone. It's too late for that. But you can save some of them. And right now, that might be enough. Right. Well, I'm with you, Falk. If only because, for all we know, this clown show you're running here is all that's left of our nation's defenses. Then that makes you one of the nation's best weapons. What's our plan? Our first order of business is to get this facility running at full capacity. 
I believe our best shot at defeating an enemy with superior technology is to take that technology from them and make it our own. And we got the facilities to do that? We're still finishing construction on the lab, but we've already got one of the best leading the team, Dr. Dresner. And he won't be doing it alone. I'm in the midst of organizing field teams to be sent on recon and recruitment missions for other specialists. What is this place? I mean, when aliens from another world aren't attacking our planet. This facility is essentially fulfilling its intended function right now. It was created to respond to a potential invasion on domestic soil. Do all of these people work here? No. Typically, you won't find much more than a skeleton crew here. But certain carefully selected individuals across all military disciplines are aware of this facility's existence. In the case of a domestic invasion, they're under orders to arrive here. I never knew about this place. Well, based on your performance at Groom Range, I'd say that omission was a grievous oversight. What do we know about the enemy? Very little. Before this morning, we only knew of scattered oddities. We weren't even sure if they were connected. Such as? Deposits of the substance called Illyrium were found in various locations across the nation. There were weather oddities. We received and investigated reports of what we called thinnings. Localized instances where the very fabric of reality itself seemed to be warping, then dissolving. And this was kept secret? From whom? The populace? The news would have generated mass panic. No. The circle was kept quite small on this. I'm heading down to the ready room. De Silva will meet you there and help you assemble a team. Get moving. To conclude, all signs show a pattern of systemic interference that cannot be explained by known enemies. Excellent work as always, Falk. But I'm not sure what you're suggesting. These activities aren't from the Reds. They aren't from any known source on Earth. So we must examine alternative sources. You mean to say... aliens? It's more likely than you think. We cannot afford to be caught off guard. Oh, okay, Myron. I think you've been working too hard. Take a little time off. Maybe a vacation and... No, listen. This is too important to ignore. My team has already uncovered a half dozen potential cases of outside interfere... No, you listen. I have a meeting with the generals in two days, and I will not have you... ...a laughing stock out of this department. General Deems is already talking about cutting funding. And if that happens, you and your team will be out. Do you understand? <sighs> yes, Director. Perhaps you're right about that vacation. That's more like it. Someplace nice and sunny. Lots of fresh air, like New Mexico. Welcome aboard, sir. What do they look like? I heard some of them look like us. No way. I've seen them. They look like some kind of... I don't know, some kind of monsters or something. How's it going, Agent Carter? Yes, Director. I'll tell him right away. The old man just called down. Says one of the scientists is missing. Disappeared, along with his research in high explosives. Does Falk think he's gone rogue? Maybe, but we can't risk a panic. Nils is tracking him down, but you need to get a team ready to help, quick and quiet. This is a list of available agents. Falk has gathered everyone he could find from all the agencies. All of them specialists, all of them the best at what they do. Thank you. 
by releasing an aerosol cloud, the support agent briefly improves the accuracy, damage and evasion of all nearby squad mates. Chase the infiltrator to the morgue. There's no way out of there. Wait for me, Nils. I'll get your back. I'll wait as long as I can, but we can't risk leaving him with those explosives. I'm on my way. Carter, head through the armory and take a left for the elevator. I'll send your team up to join you. Damn it, Nils. Hold on. Agent Nils is inside. He ordered us all out here. I'll handle this. You think this plasma burn is bad? Christ, Nils. Do not grieve. He died well. Why? Why kill Nils? Why attack our world? You do not understand. This world is no longer yours. But you will learn. Mosaic will teach you. What the hell is Mosaic? Mosaic is the truth that humanity shall come to know. It is unfortunate that you will not be here to witness it. Yeah, well I know one truth that you don't. And what is that? You're surrounded. He's far, fellas. He's worth more to us alive. Let's get him into custody. 
I got the infiltrator, Falk. Alive. Good work. You and Agent Nils, report to... Nils is dead. I told him to wait for backup, but he went in without me. Understood. Meet me in Ops. We've got work to do. Get him, Carter? Yeah. I got him. Oh, well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Nils. He's gone. Damn it. I should have been there. Listen, uh, I gotta head out. Director's got us on a recon mission. When I get back, we'll raise a glass to Nils. All right. Good luck, Agent De Silva. I don't need luck. And the name's Nico. Well, 